We all enjoyed watching uh, the Nets become the only team that's going to get swept out of the first round of the playoffs. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm tired from Hayden, dog. I'm gonna be honest. It was it was a long day. Like that shit is fatiguing. <laughs> you need to drink a Celsius or one of John's energy drinks. Hey, and get your hate up. Get your hate up, bro. It's nine thirty. It's nine thirty Monday night. It's hate time. I got some. I got. I got a few keys over here that Celsius waiting for you, bro. I can ship them to you. You know what yeah. I mean for the low speed. <laughs> So what do you, I mean? I know I'm, I missed the spaces. I'm sorry. We probably got all the the best jokes off there. But what, what did you what did you what did you think of uh, of the Nets officially going down? And and uh, I'm just still it's crazy to me, bro. Like it just flies in the face of everything we've seen from the NBA. You put a KD and a Kyrie on a team together, and that's not supposed it, it, to be a force a four game it, sweep. It didn't fucking matter. Like, John, and I'm not calling you out in particular, John. I'm just calling out the school of thought that it was like, who needs coaching? Who needs defense? So you got studs out there who can get a bucket whenever they want. No, you need all that shit. I told you that the, in the playoffs, the game slows down because it's a half-court chess match, and motherfuckers pull out that clipboard, and they go to work. And, right, and, and, and fucking Steve Nash got laps ran around him this whole fucking series. He didn't know shit w- what to do besides fucking play KD 46 minutes a game. You know what I mean? Ugh. So... I, like I said, I just don't ever want to see anyone tell me that a team without coaching and defense can win a championship, regardless of how good the players are. Because we've never seen that fucking happen before. Ever. I mean, it feels a lot. If it, it feels a lot like Steve Nash just wrapped a Ferrari around a tree. Like you get <laughs> yeah. given the keys to a car, he had no business driving. He fucking hammered that gas pedal and that sucker's <laughs> around the tree and. <laughs> I feel bad. We wasted KD prime years. We wasted a year of Kyrie's prime. Like, I'd no, love to they, see this We didn't ETM. waste shit, Zach. They wasted that shit. They, we, they, we, they, we was they, over yeah. there really defending, <laughs> trying to figure it out, trying to, in our head, figure out the equation that was going to make one of the worst defenses in the league somehow become great. Uh, but after they lost game one, it definitely felt a little weird. Kyrie 39 peaks, flipping the birds, double fucked you in the heart of Caucasian, no less. And, uh, you know, didn't produce, didn't deliver down it when it mattered. But at the end of the day, that's what you get for leaving LeBron. I mean, I didn't think I'd ever see KD look that bad. You know what I'm saying? Like, Kyrie did not play all that well, uh, you know, too. So, I mean, this series outside of game one. So, I mean, that's why I was thinking, you know, like, you can throw whatever defense at them. You know what I'm saying? Like, we've never even seen KD's shot get blocked. We saw his shot get blocked three times in four fucking games. You know what I'm saying? I guess you have somebody out there playing 40-plus minutes for so long, they'll be tired as fuck. He is human. You know what I mean? But, dog, like, Jason Tatum took a huge step. I did, I thought Jason Tatum's going to be good. We've talked about this prior where I saw Tatum being the best player in the league at some point. I think he's going to be there earlier than I thought. I thought it would be three or four years. I mean, he, I mean, he's, to me, Jason Tatum's one of the two best players in this playoffs right now, I think, behind Giannis. You know what I mean? But – the step he took offensively, where he's like leading the team, running the offense, basically, you know, making t- people around him better, and then also playing like lockdown defense on the best score we've ever seen. No, I didn't see Jason Tatum doing that. You know what I mean? But yeah, I mean, it makes sense. You, you need a good coach. You need to play defense. I just thought, based upon the KD we've seen and the Kyrie we've seen, they'd be fine. I mean, and and I, and I it makes sense that you know you have three of the better guard defenders on one team. Playing two of the you know best shot getters, it's that's unsustainable. You know what I'm saying as far as you know winning a seven game series, it's just it's just not gonna it wasn't gonna work. There, there were some impressive blocks. You know it was not an impressive block attempt. Was Blake there at the end? I uh, just it was heartbreaking watching him try and stop. Was it Marcus Smart? Kind of like trying to seal the game, and it was like Blake. Why is Blake getting thrown to the wolves here? Like his minutes are all screwed up. Everyone's he getting thrown of, to the wolves. You know, it's just it, the, the Wolves are eating very well tonight <laughs> off, <laughs> off, off that series. But I think uh, it's unfortunate that the most obnoxious people who watch basketball were correct during the offseason, that the Lakers needed spacing <laughs> and the, and the mm-hmm. Nets needed coaching. But I, the funniest moment of the whole game to me was <laughs> – Steve Nash is re- he's coaching for his life out there, and he got up yeah. and he starts yelling at the refs at one point. And Stan Van Gundy acted like he'd seen a full lunar fucking eclipse. He was like, "You don't usually see Steve. Uh, I mean, he's one of the more polite coaches with the officials. He's really up and giving it to him." It was just like they were astounded that he was trying to coach in an elimination Bro. game. 
<laughs> bro, fun, funny shit is as SPG went to bat for Steve Nash earlier today on Twitter, and he just basically told fans like, "Y'all don't know what the fuck y'all are watching." And you know what? I get that. Of course, I do not know what I'm. I do not look at this game the same lens of a fucking NBA coach. Of course, I will never fucking think I'm that fucking great of a fan. Of, you know, be that full of myself, but. It was like as soon as he started calling that game down, he was like, yo, what the fuck is Steve Nash doing? <laughs> it's like he was running right back to us. Like, I have no idea what this dude is fucking doing. And that shit was fucking hilarious, man. But um When you call SVG but, but, yeah, a coach, he, he he's a former coach. Okay. Let's a just former he, coach. motherfucker ain't coaching nowhere right now. He coaching uh, uh yeah. in the broadcast booth, but I'm just saying, like, so I saw him post that same shit. He was responding to everybody and going in and out, whatever. But I don't know, man. Steve Nash, it sounded great on paper. I feel like, you know, you passed up a lot of the other guys who had a lot more experience who were ready to go, kind of trying to sell that same bullshit Steve Kerr narrative that you're, you were trying to give us. And uh, here we are. Tulum. It's wild scene. Ain't no, ain't no shortcuts to this shit. That's the lesson here, right? You can't dribble, dribble, has he has your way to a championship. You can't fucking substitute, cool substitute teacher, coach your way to a championship. You got to get a motherfucker's gun when they was going to get on your ass on a goddamn February, you know, fucking um, um, road practice. You got to have some a team that's committed to playing defense. Ain't no shortcuts to this shit, bro. Like, that's why, I, like, I don't get motherfuckers like, oh, Brian just, you know, he just pays with everybody. It's so easy. No. No, all of LeBron's teams were they, they executed well and they fucking committed to defense. This team didn't neither of those. They didn't even commit to playing basketball. Like, <laughs> like right? Like Kyrie know? played eighteen games. <laughs> what the fuck? You know? It's just incredible. You put Kyrie and Ben Simmons on one team. <laughs> it's just a special energy that's coming up. <laughs> yeah. <that shit. laughs> Did you was, hear Blake ben was Griffin not is, there tonight? Did you hear right? Blake Griffin he, is leading in uh, charges this year? <laughs> that was so like <laughs> Blake Griffin going from a human highlight to leading the league in charges. Like who saw Blake, that? Leading the league in charges bingo taken. Card, you know, and Blake, yeah, you said what? You said leading what? the league in charges taken. Ta- yeah, charges taken. Yes, oh. Blake Griffin. That's what he's become a human that's charge brutal. taker. They were talking like. And he's only did it in 15 minutes per game of playtime. I'm like, this is how you talk about Blake Griffin now? That's Rough, crazy. Um, so the Celtics rode to the championship. They got the Nets down. It would probably be Bucks and then Heat Sixers, Heat or Sixers after that. Do you think that the Celtics can win the NBA championship this year? Yeah, I do. I think so. I do. I, I don't want them to. I don't want to see Bill Simmons tweeting about it for fucking sure. Uh, so I don't want to see them do it. And I'm sorry, Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown, you both seem lovely, but your fans make it just too too difficult. I can't do it. I can't do it. I won't do it. So Someone tweeted, this is for I, Lucky. Oh. For Lucky. <laughs> Who tweeted that? Motherfucker. Celtics King, fan. Um, um, goddamn big baby. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can, I can for this sure see the Celtics for winning it. Um, they're committed to defense. They've got fucking studs on offense with fucking Jalen and, and Tatum. They're well coached with Eme. They check all the boxes. We'll see. Mm-hmm. Joe's like fuck me. the Celtics. He, he, yeah, f- fuck the Celtics. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, it's I'll get not one half shit. shit. It's fuck the fans. It's fuck everything about the Celtics except the actual Celtics. Except you know for what I'm saying? Marcus Smart, Jalen. Fuck Grand the Williams. arena. Fuck the leprechaun. Fuck the fans, <laughs> fuck the city, yeah. fuck the colors, fuck the name of the team, fuck the history of the team, <laughs> fuck the most of the dudes on the team except Jason Tatum. I love you, Jason. Yeah. I like I the team. You, it is. I, I'm sick to my. I'm sick to my stomach that is th- that these dudes are wearing green. Because if they were wearing any other fucking jersey, I would be such a bandwagon fan of this team right now. But I can't do it with something. Here, let me pitch something though. They lose in the Eastern Conference Finals. Jason Tatum starts to look around. He says, I'm not that happy here. I'm sick of this Boston bullshit. And he starts pushing his way to the Los Angeles Lakers. He might as well do that anywhere. <laughs> Y'all need to see. LeBron got a that phone is about. That's a bad your ass. I, th- I feel like Tatum locked into like 20, 26 or some shit, though, right? Like, he bro, is. Yeah. Yeah. He ain't going, going, yeah. None of that means shit. shit. None of that means you know shit that means He can leave tomorrow if he wants to. All right, <laughs> yeah. Good luck. Good luck. You know what I'm saying? But he signed a contract. <laughs> yeah, motherfucker. He signed a hard <laughs> So, so Kyrie's, so Kyrie's a free agent, right? At the end of this year, correct? 
Yeah, but he said he wants to come back to the Nets, right? And and him and yeah, Kevin. He said gonna... that about wanting to come back to Boston until no, they got clapped he, up he, out he of the playoffs. His quote today was astounding. He said, "When I say I'm here with Kev, I think that really entails us managing this franchise together alongside Joe and Sean." Bro, this motherfucker! Look, he had that thirty-nine <laughs> point. He had that. He had that thirty-nine point all-world game, game one. Yeah, and then he scored forty-six total points the rest of the series. Shot 37% the rest of the series. He's like, yo, I'm the motherfucker hosting the Zoom meeting when we're discussing free agency after the season. Like, that's the shit that Kyrie is on. Like, I just, I am totally for player empowerment, but I'm at the point where, like, where does fucking self-awareness come into it, bro? Nowhere. You expect that out of Kyrie? Nowhere for Kyrie. Yeah. (laughs) Where has he shown us he has that ability? Nowhere. You know what I mean? Love him as a player, but we talking about him as a person when it comes to that type of stuff. It just he just ain't got it. Not yet. Hopefully it changes, but we ain't seen a reason why it would. Oh no, it isn't changing. Part of me loves to see a rich black man being this arrogant and this out of touch. We need it to bring balance to the force. But the other half is like, Negro, you just got swept by the Celtics. What are you talking about? Going to pyramids. I like I like I like like seeing young I like seeing players being this arrogant. While leaving a fucking trail of shit that they're getting away, <laughs> Kyrie is staying in this shit, being this way. You see, mm. see what I'm saying? Like, 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 I, I fuck with a player like any who told the you know Pels, hey, y'all figure this shit out, get me to L.A. Right? Like, I fuck with shit like that. But Kyrie is like digging himself deeper in a hole here. You know what I mean? Like, there's no self awareness there. Um, one last salute to Ben Simmons. <laughs> that brother's starving. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody put that underneath the Kyrie Ramadan. Oh, I lost my shit. Sorry. Uh, I'm going to hell. I'm going to hell. It's fine. Oh, hello, Buckets. Did you enjoy that video? Well, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Go to the channel. Check out some of the other videos we have. They're all fantastic. Also, like the video and make sure to comment on it. Anything you want to tell any of us.